All right, welcome to round one of the Crimson Vow pre-release. I am on the play with seven, and Michael also kept seven. All good? You ready? Yep. All right. Mountain, go. Uh, I'll also play Mountain. No, I mean, it's definitely tough, but... Uh, I learned. Like, I live in a park. Play a... We'll take Visionary? So it's 3 1. I deal uh, Visionary does 2 damage to me if I tap it. Exile a card from my library. I may play that card this turn. Active Sorcery. When I play a card, Exile will take Visionary Transform. And transforms into a 4 3. And I will pass after the So you got 2. No, our third threat got the other. Oh, I see. I see. Mode, uh, Vampire Slayer 2 2. I'm going to give damage to a vampire, destroy the creature, see him done. Yeah, you're going to be up all night. Yep. It will be in the beginning. Um, I will pass. So... Yeah. Something that really helps you try them. Um, so I always tell them, and they're like, oh, that's a really good idea, thanks. I'll declare. Like, yep. I'll take a two. If it's dark to, to them, they can't see anything, they can go to sleep. They feel comforted, like night. What? Yeah, essentially. Yeah, so like, that's what we did for my dog. Yeah. Um, I don't know how well it'll work I for things. play like, Mountain. So brand new. But I know for a while, because, you know, I have a husky yeah. who wanted to howl on the back. And play a blood hypnosis. Oh, can't block whenever you sacrifice one or more blood tokens. Hard creature can't okay. block. Okay. I'm done. Um, uh, sure. Uh, end of your turn. We're going to Rending Flame this. Uh, deals five damage to target creature, Planeswalker. And if it was a spirit. Okay. So. That is not oh. a spirit. But it can't walk, correct? That one can't walk. Correct. <laughs> correct. Okay. Oh my. Uh, I'll take my turn. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to play Evolving Wilds. I'm going to crack the Evolving Wilds right now. Can I just crack the Island? I guess, I guess you're going to crash, huh? Good luck, sir. Uh, uh, move to combat. Attack you for three. Down to 17. And second main phase. Play Cemetery Gatekeeper. It's 2 1 first rank. When enters the battlefield, exile a card from a graveyard. When exile a vampire slayer. Whenever a player plays a land or casts a spell, if it shares a card type with the exiled card, Cemetery Gatekeeper goes 2 damage to so whenever you play a land or cast a spell, cast a creature spell, you got to deal two damage to there. Same for me as well. Sure. Card Declare an attack. Uh, so you feel no shot. Okay, keep on trigger. That's awesome. You cut trigger. Right. You take two. Fifteen. That's a awesome. <laughs> Swinging for two, three, three. I'll go to fifteen. Um. I'll play a Rift Ride. Alright, so that'll trigger. You take two. Right. Keep it a seven. So you say you're all set? Yep. Okay. 
I'm gonna tap this to deal two damage to myself. Okay. Go to thirteen, and then exile the top part of my library. And I play that. So we'll play that. Take two from the gatekeeper. Go to eleven. Uh, this will transform. So it's a 4-3, they can't serve. That's it. And then... Move to combat. I'll attack you with a 2-1 with first trade. Go down to 11. And then second main phase. I play Lacerate Flesh on this. Deal 4 damage to target creature. Then I create a number of blood tokens equal to the excess damage. Okay. So I'll create... Yeah. And I will pass. Right. Yep. Sorry. Get nine. Feels bad when every basic is a shock land. Right now it is good. Two one fine. Okay. I'll play an artifact feature. Two. Okay. Yep. Enter. Here you go. You, how do you get all my counters? Uh, adding mana, any color, to add, add a mana. Uh, move combat. Okay. Take it with these two. Uh, well, I will... I guess I'll walk here. Okay. And then first strike. Plus three zero against first strike to one turn. Okay. Yep. So he'll die from the first strike damage there. This will die. That stays alive because that's first strike. Yep. Second main phase. Yes. Oh. Weary prisoner. We'll go to nine. And I will pass. That is the day. You know the day and night cycle? Yep. Okay. What's that one do? Uh, exile a creature card from your graveyard, create a token that's a copy of it, except that it's a 0-2 construct. In addition, it's other types that it has uh, plus one for each construct you control. It gains haste to end of turn, activate, and as a sorcery. So we'll use it. You just create a copy. You create a co uh, copy, correct? Yeah, just create a copy of it, except that it's zero zero, and it has a plus one plus one token on it. Great construct. No, it's not a token. It just gets a plus one plus one for each construct you control, control. right? So it's just it's a, a one copy. one. So this is a copy. Okay. Yeah, except it's a zero zero. So it's a one one current, right? Uh you wanna put that underneath it, then you can remember which one's which. Because it's a vampire also, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know if it's like if there's yeah. anything else in your deck that sure. actually matters. Yeah. Fair enough. Um I'm done. End of your turn. Okay, one sack this. Discard this draw card. All right, now I'll take my turn. Draw. Yeah. 
Move to combat. Attack you with a two wheel for sure. I will block with my copy. Okay, sure. And I will pass the turn. Getting your turn, castle spells to flip the knight. Okay, copy of this. Yep. Guess it still is only one construct. Uh, declare an attack. Sure. Swing for two. Uh, I will be at seven. Yes. This is tapped. Sure. Yep. I have a good question. Yeah, I just. Goes that? I will say oh, that sorry. Like yeah. Nice End of your turn. Okay. We'll braid that. Interface. Sorry. Destroy. You'll choose destroy target artifact. That way it's uh, just in case you have a way to. I'll concede. Okay. So, unless there are responses. Um, what? Okay, so they'll trade. That's a, they'll artifact's a good way to turn out some, uh, I know. Some one ones there. Well, I guess you keep on the battlefield, right? The yeah. army just keeps growing. I didn't get any of my control. Most ah. Time. Or you card deck, I didn't get like <laughs> six of them. Well, that's not true. I got one. I got the the first spike oh, thingy. But yeah, yeah. That was a, the best. Yeah, it saved your guy in combat, but. Yeah, player draw. I will play. Oh. Did you put a counter last turn? Yeah. Oh. I will keep it. Um, I will. Okay. I'll play the evolving wild. Use it. And then be done. I'm gonna play mountain. Yes. Take three. Right on the foot. This dies. This flips. I play a blood petal silverprint. Okay. Uh, it has first strike as long as it's attacking. When it dies, I create a blood token. Here you go. <laughs> Those are the guys who didn't actually play. Play an island. We'll take visionary. Check. And I will pass. Uh, pass. Yeah. Five. 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 Uh, clear an attack. Yeah. Swing for two. two. Yeah. Go to eight. And I'll play a vampire slayer. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Here you go. I will move combat. Thank you for this. Uh, sure. Yeah, uh, I will pass. Yeah. Well, I don't have any 
Play a Mark Carl Walter. One three flying haste at the beginning of my combat. The two target creatures you control get a plus one physical until seems good to hit. Verdict. Five. Yep. So before you get triggered. Did I silence? Nope. Just kill. Uh, deals five damage to it. If it was a spirit, it also deals five damage to you. But I, need, I don't think there's right here. Can I two? Alright. Sixteen. Here you go. Yeah. Play a lamb pole. Rack on rack on tour. Check. So it's a two four, whatever cast nine creature spell, it does one damage to each opponent and it's a Go ahead. Keep drawing. Declare an attack. Yep. So two for two. No bucks. Um, Take two. Or yep. Okay. Fourteen. I'll play some infantry. Okay. And I'll play a whole unholy officiant. All right. Here we go. Wait, wait. I am going to pass. So, castle spells. So, you turn it back. So, uh, so, it's a 4 4 whenever I cast a 7 creature. It does 2 damage. Yes. I didn't know. But, yeah, I don't really ever get involved in one of these games. Yeah, I do. Declare an attack. Uh, per. Yeah. So we're going to chill the grave that thing. Uh, tap target creature doesn't untap during his untap step. And then I draw a card, and then this thing deals two damage to you. 18. So draw. Sure. Swing it two for two. Mm, that sure strike. Sure seems pretty good. <laughs> um... I mean, I don't even need it in my hand, really. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. Well, that's the thing. You play a game. You play a game one, right? No point in not. Um. All right. Uh, no blocks. Take two. two. Okay. Oh no, I'm saying now. Yeah. Just so you're not confused or anything. Hypnotist. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Whenever you suck. I can't block, and whenever I sacrifice one or more blood tokens, target creature can't block okay. this turn. That's the same as the other one. Alright, uh. You only cast the ones in the hospital. Draw. Wait, wait. Let's play an ill tempered lunar. So the front side says you know, every ill tempered loner is dealt damage, it does that much damage on the target. I can pay two, it gets plus two plus zero to another turn. But it's gonna be night. So it's an Avenger. It says whenever a permanent I control is dealt damage, all pack Avenger deals that much damage to any target. And I can pump it. I will pass. Uh, yeah, just play a griffin rat. A griffin rat, right. okay. Um, 12, 18. So I gotta, I can sacrifice a non-demon. It's very interesting, isn't it? So. I'll go ahead and attack with these three. Those three, huh? Uh, 660. So let's go. Here. 
There's that sure strike. Um, okay, so this would resolve. Let's say, yeah. So yeah. So it's gonna take it's gonna take six damage. Is that three three? Normally. So even if you yep. yep. So that so the first strike damage will resolve. Uh, we're gonna deal six damage. No, but I feel two of all the. Still six damage here to the thing with training. The single die. And then I'll take two from this thing. Go to ten. Right, right. And I was like, and then and you make a bullet token, correct? Yep. Yes. Sacrifice it. Oh. Yep. That's just a suggested. Okay. All right. Uh -oh. And set. Yep. So you cast two spells. So flip back to. Yeah. Makes a difference. So we both were waiting to play the black card. Right. Which is why it seems like I'm like, what the heck? Celebrants. Uh, whenever it ends, that will create two blood tokens. I was going to say, it was fine. Like, so say it didn't have the, like, uh, if this creature dies, bring it back. Like, it would have been fine if it didn't. I will pass. Right. Because then you could have just put it After that point, like, yeah, that card. Red, white. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, blood tokens well, make that kind of relevant, don't they? Um... I'll discard this, sacrifice this artifact yep. to draw a card. I'll make it so this guy can't block. It's definitely a key. with me. Here for you, brother. Absent brother. Absent brother. It happens. Here you go. Uh. You did not cast anything, yeah. correct? I, you know, I just pushed off. So we'll flip back tonight. I appreciated this bond a little bit more, but it's... it's not, you understand. Let's understand. You know. Daybreak combatants. Uh, okay. It's a two two with haste, and then give something plus two plus zero. Yeah. And we're gonna give it's twelve plus two plus zero. Okay. Move combat. And attack you with these two. Oh, I uh. Right. Totally missed by that card. Um. Not going on again. Okay. Don't have a counter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're good. Yeah, go to 14. I will pass. 40 into your turn, I'll put a plus one plus one counter and then fishing it. Sure. Uh, ah. Harris, can you give me a little slant? It's got vigilance. I guess I will disturb this. Take this a five five. What is that on the back side? It gives it plus two plus two. Two plus two. Plus two. Okay. Hell yeah, okay. And I will declare. <laughs> You're good. 
and I mean, like, I get it. Just like, that? Lee, I hate that I have to uh, do that to you every time. We're gonna block here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Party combat. Yeah. Uh, serpentine ambush. Okay. So uh, it's gonna cast an instant, so it'll trigger deal two damage to you. Oh. And then make it a five five. Well, thank. Right. Yep. Yeah, I was like, was oh, like a human to my target with this car. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm done. Combat. Take you for free. Uh, take four. Go down to eight. It's extremely tough. Six. Screaming. Whenever I tackle one more creature, start to wear it. It's a four-four flyer, and I can pay three and put it from the graveyard. From a graveyard in my library. Sec. I will. Enchanted creature can attack or block, pay five to exile it, create a blue tree. Kindly ancestor. Yep. I'm done. Uh, end your turn. You know, sack of blood token. Discard this thing. Oh yeah. Violet's fear of death. <laughs> this thing. Uh, so when there's a battlefield, I mill two cards. Oh. There it goes. Alright. And then it gets minus X minus zoom or worse number of cards. Check. A lot. Uh, move to combat. Okay. Yeah. This guy has flying in this game. I will buy. I'll buy this guy. Deal four damage. Okay. Yeah, take this. So you got eight. Gain two. Oh yeah. So you got six. And I will pass. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, good games.